Welcome back to the channel, guys. Let's see what the energy is for the masculine at the moment. Um, let's see if I can pick up their energy and what the fuck's going on. I'm going to use several decks to see um, what's going on with your masculine. So obviously think about your person. Oh, they're all over the place. <laughs> surprise, surprise. They're a little bit unbalanced, okay? Um, I feel that something has ended something has gone gone on in their life at the moment um for some of you this could be they have lost a person in their life grandmother mother and kind of thing um for others it's just their their cycle of no contact is coming to some sort of ending here and i do feel that you are going to hear from them um for others there's also a very strong female energy in their past that they were dealing with and that's kind of coming towards an ending of some sort um i'm also picking up that although they do want to communicate with you they are afraid to because the last time you guys spoke it wasn't very good if that makes sense so they're a little bit scared um they know that they hurt you and they're also fully aware that they did not tell you the whole truth so they're a little bit like, mm, do I contact? Do I not? Do you know what I mean? So there's a lot of pain here with the masculine at the moment. Um, anything else about this masculine? And then I'm going to see how they are actually feeling towards you guys. Um, they're very cold. They're very much all up in their heads. There's a lot of pain here with them. What the hell is that? It's childhood. So they are dealing with some childhood trauma here they are really some of them are actually working on themselves and being and it's they're becoming aware of their bullshit if that makes sense um but for some of you your person could also be dealing with an actual child here um paternity legal matter as well do you know what i mean there is some bullshit going on here with the female um they don't have the strength to come forward yet is what i've got because they're too much in their head there's a lot of money issues here as well being being shown um they're being manipulated as well honestly they're being manipulated here they don't know where to go with this back and forth but this has nothing to do with you absolutely nothing to do with you this is just where they are and the place that they're at at the moment um let's see how they actually feel towards you what are their feelings towards you how do they feel how are they feeling towards this connection or are they even aware of this connection um honestly they have no strength for this connection there's no strength in them they want to communicate they want to get in touch but they have no they they can't do it they can't do it because of how things were left um th there was a massive betrayal here they fucking lied to you big time massively and they don't want to get in touch again because they know they're gonna have to tell you the fucking truth isn't it and they know you're not having any of this so they're dealing with a lot of karma at the moment they are not in any way shape or form in a good place i don't see any feelings here at the moment there's no feelings they're afraid they're all up in their heads Tell me emotionally how they are. Because clearly they're not in any way, shape or form. How are they emotionally? Um, they're pretending everything's okay. They're running away from their emotions. Okay, going out with friends, dinner party. Do you know what I mean? They are literally running away from it all. Some of them could be sleeping around. Just, just having that kind of freedom, if you know what I mean. But internally, they know that you are their person. We've got the two of cups. But they are running away from this. They're running from they're running from it. Why are they running from this? We know they're afraid. We know they're mentally fucked, dealing with a lot of shit. Why are they running away from this connection? They're being stubborn. They're just being stubborn and they don't want to communicate. They don't want to communicate. They don't have the strength required to communicate um, justice because they know it wasn't fair. Whatever happened here, they know it was wrong. They know it wasn't fair and they don't know how to come in. They don't have the strength for it. And they just want to, they want to stay how things are at the moment. They just want to be at the top. They, in their head, they're right. This is toxic. This is bullshit. They're lying to themselves. They know that this is wrong, but yet they'd rather just pretend everything's okay. You know, and they, they have walked away from this. 
they have they have they've walked away from this um is there a future potential um see if there's any reconnection here future potential um reconnection with these two potential future connection here potential future no no not at all you're manifesting the fuck fucking hell honestly what the fuck are you playing at they're kind of like no yes what the fuck do you mean no yes i need more you're fucking with me can you clarify this please clarify this Ooh, there's other people involved as per fucking you oh are they just they they're kind of like do i do i not between you and somebody else and this is really fucking with their head they're fucking around with somebody else and they don't know who to pick and this is why this is why you got the tower so at the moment nah they're not doing anything because they're still trying to decide between you and somebody else. Now, that doesn't mean that this other person is a relationship that they're in. For some of you, it might be. But this could be a mother, a daughter. Do you know what I mean? Work situation, any kind of interference. They're not willing to come in. This is this is a very strong connection. But the only problem is they're running away from it. Because they know it's going to require a shit ton of work. Um, there could be a potential of you guys getting together. But it's very short-lived. Very short-lived at the moment. Um, because they're not willing to accept the connection. And this, there's a third party involved in all of this. Um, so let's see what you guys are supposed to do with all of this. What fucking deck do I use? Let's go with this one. Okay, what should they do? What should the collective do about this? Let's see. What should you guys do about this? What should you guys do about this? Okay, I'm not going to lie. I don't lie. Um, what should you guys do about it? This is going to be up to you guys, okay? Because this is fuckboy energy here. They're going to keep coming in and out and shaking it all about, okay? Um, if you need your closure, if you need to be with this person one more time, do it. But then step back. Step back because I don't see any long-term potential at the moment anyway. Um, they're going to be coming in, short-lived, you know, have a bit of fun here and there. And if you are more invested than they are, don't even go there. Um, they are very mentally gone, okay? This is too much for you to carry. This ain't going to go anywhere at the moment. So I would say if you need that closure, if you need that one more night, if you need that, take it for what it is. But I wouldn't be buying any fucking wedding dresses, if you know what I mean. If... This is something that's already hurting you, which clearly it already is. I wouldn't even get together with them because it's only going to hurt because there's no long term at the moment. I don't see it happening. OK, um, what is what are they? What are their intentions? Because they will be coming in and there is a short lived kind of thing if you allow it. What is what are the intentions of the masculine at the moment? They just want to feel a little bit more stable. And you kind of ground them and you give them that kind of feeling of hope and of home. Do you know what I mean? They like the feeling that they get when they are with you. And that's all they're coming in for. Um, but they're lying to them. No, this ain't going to go. Not just yet. They, they're going to end up walking away again. And that's the last thing you need right now. Yeah. And that's it. Empty card. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna go away. So, honestly, I wouldn't even fucking go there. I mean, if you need to go there, go there. But go there knowing that it ain't going to go nowhere. Okay? Now, for a bit of a laugh, let's, let's see what they want to say to you. These cards are just messages from them. What does the Divine Masculine have to say? What does the Divine Masculine have, have to say? Let's see. What does the Divine Masculine have to say for himself? I don't know how I feel anymore. We know this. Don't know how I feel anymore. How could you still love me after all I've done? We know this. And how could you? But that's something you need to take up yourself. I feel safer in the silence. We know this. It's easier to just stay away right now. 
like I said, they'll be coming in very short-lived and then they're going to fuck off again. I still love you. This is this is what they're going to use to get you back, okay? And just because they still love you, there is emotions. I did see emotions. I don't mention emotions because that's not what makes a fucking relationship work. You can love someone and it still doesn't work, okay? Being apart has been life-changing for me. I bet it fucking has. And clearly it hasn't because they're going to fuck off again. Um, I'm reminded of you constantly. Again, guys, this is the kind of shit that they're going to throw at you. I'm not the same person that you remember. Listen, I'm, I'm going to stop this right now because I'm not here to give you bullshit. This is the kind of shit they're going to say to you to get you back, back to that place. And then they're going to fuck off again. Okay, so don't fall for that. Um, that's the kind of shit that that is what they're feeling. Don't get me wrong. But if they're not going to do anything about it, which I don't see them doing anything about it, then there's no fucking point. You know, what's this, What's the point? Oh, I love you. I think about you. I love you. And I care about you. And you're everything to me. And all that. For what? Get them to write it down. Get them to write a movie about it. Write a book. But if they're not willing to actually commit and be with you, well, there's no fucking point. Um, but yeah, you do you. And yeah, that's what your masculine was thinking. Have an amazing day.